Installing Windows Deployment Services Once you've met all of the prerequisites, the first step is to add the role of Windows Deployment Services to your Windows 2008 R2 server. Open Server Manager. Click Roles and then click Add Roles in the Roles Summary pane. Click Next. Select Windows Deployment Services. Click Next. Click Next. Select Deployment Server and Transport Server. Click Next. Click Install. Click Close when the installation is complete. To configure Windows Deployment Services, click Start, click Administrative Tools, and then click Windows Deployment Services. Expand the server on the left pane. If there is not a server listed under the Services node, Right-click the Servers node and click Add Server to add the local computer. In the left pane of the Windows Deployment Services MMC Snap-in, expand the list of servers. Right-click the server and then click Configure Server. Click Next. Configure Remote Installation Server Folder Location. Change the drive letter to a drive that does not contain the operating system. For instance, D colon backslash remote install. Click Next. Configure the DHCP screen. If the Windows Deployment Server is also the DHCP server, select both boxes. If not, follow the directions in the DHCP section later on in this video. Select the third option. Respond to all client computers. Click Next. Leave a check in the box for Add Images to the Server Now. If you plan on adding images, or leave it blank if not, and then click Finish. Import the boot image. Insert Windows 7 DVD into the drive. From within Windows Deployment Services, right-click the folder entitled Boot Images and select Add Boot Image. Browse to your CD slash DVD drive and expand the Sources folder. And in the root of the Sources folder, you will see a file entitled boot.wim. Select that file and click Open. Click Next. Name the image name, Microsoft Windows 7 Setup x86, or whatever version you're using, and do the same for the description. Click Next, click Next, click Finish.